What's going on guys and welcome back to Northern Valley and welcome to probably the most anticipated episode of the series so far. That is the National Park episode. Yes, we are starting the National Park in this episode and I actually got a few people who wanted to do the downtown district in this episode uh, in the last comment section. Along with over on Twitter, I had a poll out. And if you don't follow me on Twitter, please go check it out and follow me if you want to like discuss anything. I also do polls every now and then. So it's a great place to kind of keep up with me and what's going on. But yeah, I put a poll out over there. What should I do in this episode? And uh, I think a majority of people said downtown. But my rationale behind it is... Northern Valley and whatever we name the downtown district, I'm not sure it really has a like an identity or a story just yet. If you watch Fresh Popcorn, you know that he always wants to do or he always wants to give some sort of story to whatever he's building. And I really, really enjoy that concept. And I think a lot of what we have done in Northern Valley at least has some sort of meaning or story behind it. So I do want to kind of carry that mentality forward throughout the series and throughout pretty much anything on my channel in a creative aspect but yeah I figured that the national park would give this region more of I guess an identity as to like why people would come over to this city so I figured the national park would be a huge draw and that's why we're gonna do that first but I think directly after we're done with this which is either this episode or the next one we do have a bit more to do in the park system so I'm not sure if the next episode is going to be fully more park building or not but uh, yeah after that we'll go into downtown and try to start to make our city and then after that we'll probably go into like doing more of the logistical stuff like building the harbor that we need to build still and getting kind of the mining stuff out and and all of the natural resources gathered so Yes, a lot to do here in Northern Valley still. And speaking of a lot to do, I have been opening Northern Valley and my computer has been using 15 of my 16 gigs of RAM to open the save. So I actually went out and I bought more RAM. It's in the mail, it should be getting here soon. So I am doubling my RAM to 32 gigs. So it's definitely gonna help me out a bit. And speaking of new things, I also want to talk about a few new mods that I got for this episode. I was really excited to use them, and that is the first one that you saw when I was doing the sign out in front of the National Park is the uh, Random Tree Rotation mod. So this mod, it, if <laughs> like when I'm putting trees down, if it looks like they're freaking out, it's because they're getting like a random rotation. The game is going to try to kind of give it a little bit of a, a, a slight twist in a very literal sense and give it more of a dynamic look. So the game doesn't do this by default and it the mod only fixes it up to like the certain LOD. Uh, so when you zoom back out, it kind of gives it the default look again, but when you're zoomed in, it kind of, it'll give it more of a nice diverse look. So that's a really nice thing. I also ended up getting the big decal mod and if you haven't seen those yet, we'll actually use them later on in this episode when we go back and start to kind of uh, detail around the hotel that I just plopped down. Well, I guess it, it is a hotel, but technically in the Rico, it's like a house. It's a residence, so I guess we can pretend or whatever. But yeah, the big decals are really cool. And actually, before I go into that, what I'm doing right now, these little towers, if you have watched Firewatch, I think is the game, You'll know exactly what these are for. These are for our uh, park rangers to kind of keep an eye out for, uh, you know, smoke and anything that looks fishy. And then they can go ahead and make sure that a forest fire doesn't break out. So we placed two of those towers down in this episode, but we have a whole other section of the park to, uh, I guess, build yet. So I will go in and I'll show you guys everything in the live portion uh, in terms of scope of this park. So. Uh, yes, anyway, the big decal mod is really cool. We'll get into that later and one last mod that I actually downloaded But I'm not using at this very point in time is a road replacer uh, a road texture replacer I got it and it it replaced a lot of well, it replaced all of the roads and it looked pretty cool except the highways were like Beaming white they were just they really stuck out and it didn't look great 
and there were certain parts of the highways that weren't as bright as the other ones so I kind of I put that on the back burner but um, yes I mean I, I don't know I'll look into that some more maybe you guys can suggest some stuff and speaking of suggesting stuff this episode we're not gonna name anything because the Northern Valley National Park is already the name that we have decided on or at least I have but I do want you guys to kind of comment with uh, anything that we should put into the park system so you're seeing me right now by these small little uh, parking lots off of the main entrance road to the park I put that in there because I want this park to have kind of like little offshoots and little things for people to do I want you to be able to drive through the park and kind of park at a different spot every time you come to the park and do something different so that little parking lot up front was a nice little uh, waterfall overlook kind of area and then this main junction that I'm working on right now will get you yes that sign does say campgrounds I really like what we did with the campgrounds so uh, you'll see that later on but yes you can come into the main cabin which is that hotel that I put down before and that is the left if you take a left here and uh, the campgrounds are to the right and then there's also a lot of room that we can work on in the future here there's a lot of other things that we can do uh, like for instance I want to put some sort of like bike path maybe maybe like a mountain bike trail or something in here at some point so yeah maybe we'll do that I, I'm really looking to you guys to maybe suggest something that I'm not thinking of and we can try to work that into the next episode so anyway uh, the grass that I'm putting down I actually used this a lot and I used it in points of interest so there's a lot of vacant road around here um, and vacant I mean like there's a lot of just stretches of road where nothing is happening and I didn't want to go through and detail all of that with like the grass uh, assets uh, but at certain points of interest like at the signs and at these entrances I tried to detail those a little bit more and so I really want you to be able to like if you were driving on this road I want you to stop and like see that this is a cool little area that maybe we should uh, like park and investigate but yeah if you're driving just down the street or down these dirt roads you're not there's really not much to see and I think that's a, a fair kind of realistic type thing for uh, for a park I mean some of these parks are so big that like not everything is interesting but the scenery is always there so anyway right now I am starting to kind of lay out the uh, road systems for this campground and I really really like what all of this like what, what happens here um, this place is full of life and I'm really happy with how it came out so I went in between episodes I didn't record this because there's really nothing to watch but I went in and I started doing some map theme um, or not map theme but district theming kind of tweaks so right now I'm putting down these uh, little uh, residential spaces and what pops up are a bunch of trailers like trailer park like low-income trailer park homes and I figured this would be perfect for this area because it'll be like people have brought campers here and are camping out here so I guess technically in the game people are living at the park and I mean yeah they're living at the main road as well but uh, or at the main hotel but yeah uh, in my mind there are just people who brought campers to the park and are just you know staying around for the weekend or for a long week whatever and then of course we go through in a little bit and detail and then put some like uh, little just campfires around it, it's great right now what I'm doing is taking these wooden electrical poles and just running them throughout this whole area and this is such a pain because the prop line tool does not recognize them so you have to like tediously place them one by one and just make sure they look okay and in the end they do and uh, yes this water tower was kind of a pain because I found that I had this like wooden water tower and I really liked the way it looked but it wasn't actually a water tower whoever made this asset uh, I think accidentally made it so it absorbs sewage instead of puts water down so you saw me replace it a few times and then eventually just run the actual pipe throughout the national park I kind of wanted to keep it on its own little area 
but at the same time I had no other way to get electricity out to it so I think these these power lines look and are just really really cool for this area so okay here we go we are putting down the tents that I was just talking about and yes I really really like how this area comes out it might be one of my favorite parts of the city so far and yeah you guys who are yelling at me to go ahead and do the national park uh, it, it comes out great so far and there's so much left to do here too but uh, yeah you see me right now put these buses down and I wanted to kind of put some RVs down and I had no RVs like downloaded and in the end, I end up going through to the workshop and finding, I think there's just one. There's one RV on the workshop. So I grab it and we're going to place that down in the live portion of this episode. So hopefully remem we remember to do that. Uh, but yeah, so that whole like RV park that I just laid out with the porta potties, it ends up turning into more of a just communal space and kind of a parking lot in the end. You'll see me kind of... I guess at some point just decide this is where people are parking instead of RVs because I mean there aren't any RVs so uh, the trailers that are here as houses right now that you're looking at they have all of these like cement decals that are placed down and I end up going through and actually placing some of them that are some more decals without like any trailers on them just because I feel like it wouldn't be like a hundred percent capacity there would be places for people who maybe haven't shown up to the park for the weekend just yet can come up and park their RV or trailer or whatever. And yeah, this whole place is really, really shaping up. And actually, this is a funny little moment here. I was detailing this campground sign and all of a sudden the slowest speed pursuit whizzes by me and it was just hilarious i mean i guess technically it wasn't a pursuit but it was just like out of the blue came through i was like what the hell is going on here but anyway i go through and i do some more of that grass detailing that i was talking about earlier and then the just the tree work around that campground is really cool but we're back i i really bounce around a lot in these episodes and these time lapses because I end up finding something that I remember or I think is going to go well at a different part that I had just worked on. So we're back at the, the waterfall overlook because those that really green grass just felt like it was a, a perfect fit for this area. So I end up putting this in here and then, uh, of course, detailing the little area around that before we go back to work and finish up, I think, the uh, campground area. So... Yeah, like I said, these trees that I place around here are, they make this place so cool. I mean, I'll go through in the live portion and show you guys what I mean, but like all of this little tree work, it really, it, it makes it, it's such a unique like story like I was talking about earlier. Like there's little places that maybe somebody who was camping, like the one I just put down, they wanted to be more secluded than like just setting up camp around the uh just everybody else so they end up going back farther in the woods or something and then yeah like i i've said this in this uh series before if you're struggling with making a good city or something that you feel is like really good uh it it's really helpful to have like if you can step back from your city and it automatically has a story or it has a life of its own just by looking at it without even like playing the game or having the game running you've really done your job so i really think just the little minute details around this area really tell a story and i really love how it all comes out in the end but for the final part of this time lapse footage we're gonna actually watch me go ahead and finish up the detail work around this which is in my eyes, the main, I guess, office slash hotel area of the park. This is like the big center of the park. And I do feel like we could probably go through and do a bit more detailing in here. And I might talk about that in the live portion of the video here when we flip over. But there's a little bit of things that we could do in here that we don't do just yet. But anyway, you're going to watch me right now mess around with the big decals. And this, it just gives so much like more versatility that we can do with everything we're doing here so the 
the little crack decals that I'm putting down right now around here. So cool. Like, it, it makes it look like the asphalt's been here for a while. And it's, it just, it tells that story. And yes, so, you know what? We're going to get into the live portion right now. And we'll go through and kind of look around and see what this episode is all about. Okay, so here we are back live in Northern Valley National Park, and we're at the main, I guess, I, I want to say cabin, but I guess technically it's not a cabin. It's like a hotel or like a lodge almost, we could say. But yes, this is the main kind of feature of the park in a way. It's supposed to be the focal point, but right now it's not. I mean, I feel like out in the back parts here, we could maybe do something a little bit more to kind of tie this paved uh, pathwork together. So maybe we'll go ahead and just stretch another piece of path around here and do some like detailing behind here. So it's kind of like that focal area where maybe people could come and have like a, I don't know, a gathering or something. I mean, there is the little miniature park out front, but... It's not quite... Why are all of these cars suddenly showing up here? What is going on? Huh. Apparently, people just caught wind of Northern Valley National Park and how amazing it is. And now everybody is here. <laughs> okay, anyway. This, uh, yes, this is here. And then these paths you saw me kind of place down in the time lapses, they go everywhere. I mean, there's kind of paths everywhere and I know somebody is probably gonna suggest we maybe want to do something on this middle island here but in all actuality like how would anybody get over to here you know I mean like there's no bridge I wouldn't really make a bridge although unless I can hmm, if I can find like a custom bridge that isn't just the pedestrian bridges that are in the game in the vanilla game maybe I'll do something like that but we'll see how much digging I can do for that uh, I did, actually, while I'm kind of looking at the waterfalls here, I kind of want to maybe experiment with putting another water source down at the end of the map and maybe trying to get some more water flowing over these because, I don't know, sometimes, like, this one's a little sparse even though it still has some water coming up to it. This one flows a little bit better, but, uh, yeah. You saw me go down in the time lapse and try to kind of, uh, smooth out the banks of this river and yeah whoever made this map i don't know if they intended us to be all the way up here remember we have the 82 tile mod is it 82 tiles um yeah but like all of these were very really sharp sharply made uh i guess cliffs into the river and i went through and i kind of cleaned those up a little bit but um yeah anyway now that we're kind of over here let's just show you the entrance to the park I really like this. I like how this came out. It's kind of, it, it is definitely secluded. I mean, if we kind of zoom out here, it's it's on the opposite end of the dam from pretty much everything that we've done from the turnpike. So it actually kind of gives this little stretch of road kind of more meaning, I guess. So to get over to this, it, it you can go over the dam is what I'm, I guess, trying to say. But... Then we have this little uh, park sign that I found in the workshop, and it it's such a good little sign. I don't know what else to say. It's really cool. I tried to do some decorating around it, maybe making it more of a, a theatrical sign, but in the end, I couldn't find any props that kind of sat around it real well, so I just put these shrubs around it. And I really enjoy this kind of, like, taller grass, and you'll see that throughout the detail work around the park. Um... I don't know about you, but anytime I've been to a national park or even just a regional park or whatever, it kind of it kind of has a feeling like, yes, it's there with intent, but it's not really kept up with, I guess, is like what I'm kind of trying to say. Like, if we come over here, all of the, uh, like, cracked textures from the big decal pack, it gives it this, like sense of this was down at one point like this asphalt was poured with all of the tax money that I guess the government had to get this park set up and it's it's stood the test of time but at the same time it's starting to kind of fall apart but at the same time 
it gives it like that character. So I really, really like how this kind of is. And I really like this grass around the area. Like, yeah, we kind of keep up with it maybe once or twice a year, but it just, it's allowed to grow as much as it wants to. But, uh, okay, so moving on, if you, instead of going left where I guess some cars have parked and they're just kind of potentially lost in the woods, uh, maybe that police officer will help them, I don't know. Uh, if we go right down the, to the campgrounds, is what that sign says, um, you'll go all all the way along this kind of railroad track on this dirt road and Eventually there will be a left turn that you can take which is right here and you can come up to see the watchtower which I had to put on these mounds because I Mean these towers are very very tiny compared to the trees I mean you put them down to the trees and they kind of almost come up to a half of it so I had to put them on a mound just so whoever's here could get a really, really awesome view, and just an unobstructed view of the entire area. So, yeah, that's why they're up on these, like, ridiculous-looking mounds. I don't think it looks that bad. And, again, a straggler. Kind of parked here. Maybe he his little car couldn't get up the hill? Maybe he's at the lookout. Who knows? But, anyway, if you follow this all the way around, you kind of cross the railroad track at a certain point... And then, of course, you make it over to the campgrounds, which really is, I think, the the crowning jewel of this episode. I, I really, really love how this came out. I don't know why. Well, I do know why. I, to I talked about it a little bit during the time lapse, but there's just so much, like, character in this small little area. And it's so nice. Like, all of these trees are kind of placed with... I, somewhat of a purpose not all of them, but there are a lot of trees around here that are placed with purpose I love how all of these cars are here and it looks like maybe the first guy got here And then a couple other people got here at the same time and parked next to him, but then It just devolves into like randomness like there's just people who parked here out of necessity They didn't really go with the flow, you know, they're kind of just throwing their car here so they can go have a camp weekend go I don't know, drink in the wilderness or whatever they want to do. And it just, it's so, like, that little detail is so good for this area. And I love these little, like, cutouts and trees where, like, it is right behind the parking lot area, but it's still very secluded. I love that. And I love, like, if you come over here, there are just, like, little parts where the, like, say a couple people wanted to park here and come and camp, but get kind of far away from other people who are also camping. I really enjoy this. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it for over here in terms of what I wanted to talk about, but I do want to do a couple things here. I did download an RV, and I'll, let's see if I can find it here. Uh, if it pops up in the search, here it is. Yes, it's a Winnebago. And it is ready to be plopped down. We're going to plop this right on this empty lot over here. Oh, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And I think maybe, did we have one more lot? I did. It's over here. Uh, I'll place one over here as well. So, yes, we have a couple people who brought their uh, little RVs. The rest of these are trailers. So, actually, they are actual trailers. Like, you can see the hitch on there. So, it's not totally, like out of reach to think that maybe someone brought a trailer over and kind of parked it here. And then at the same time, they they do have campgrounds that have like permanent trailer parking. So this isn't all like that far of a stretch to have this here. But like I said, there are actually people living here in the game. So um, this water tower is just going to kind of sit here and uh, I guess complain at us for the life of this save file, I, I I don't know what to do about it. There's really nothing. It's connected, and it's just kind of sitting there with uh, that there. Nothing's going to fix it, so I guess we just won't talk about it. But here is the second watchtower, and this one has a stunning view. Very stunning. Look at this. You can just see the rest of the park. It is so nice. And I had mentioned briefly uh, having you guys suggest some things to do up in the park. And so I do want to get your guys' input. Maybe I was thinking about maybe doing some sort of, like, bike trail up throughout here, throughout this, like, valley and these mountains, just because it might be something that people would want to do. 
uh, go biking throughout the mountains. I don't know. Maybe we'll actually have some people. I do kind of want to monitor, like, just see if occasionally maybe we'll get a couple people around here, like, on the paths. That would be super cool. Um, but yeah, I guess the last thing that I want to do in this episode is show you guys the district that I've zoned, which is the park. So if I can get this brush option thing to go away, I think, there it is. Yeah, I figured that little trick out, but yes, yeah, so the Va National Valley, the Northern Valley National Park is all of this that we had worked on. And then it goes up here for now, and I think we can even expand this if we wanted to, to be, I guess, farther out this way, which is, I guess, totally a possibility. But the other side of the river over here uh, is over here. I th is that the Cascada River? Yes. Um, this over here is also part of the park for now, and I am planning on making kind of a smaller little maybe park area for people to come parking, or to, for people to come park at the park, and then we'll have another couple watchtowers out around here, just for the uh, fire patrol type folk, I guess. And uh, yeah, there are some really spectacular vantage points up here, so yeah, I'm looking forward to that. We also, in the cities, like the inhabited parts of the city, are uh, having a bit of a death crisis, so I'm gonna totally figure that one out in the next episode, or in between the next episodes here, but Guys, I want you to let me know if there's anything special that you want me to do in the park system. I tried to keep it, um, I, eclectic might be a word to describe it. So I think it really comes out nice. I think I'm really proud of the work that I did on this area. So I want you guys to suggest other things, maybe suggest something for the other side of the park. And, uh... Yeah, we're going to get it moving on that and potentially starting the downtown area in the next episode. So guys, if you like this one, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, thumbs down, of course. Share this video if you enjoyed it with your friends who would also enjoy it. And if you like to support me and the channel and help me grow the channel quicker, go ahead and head over to my Patreon page and consider donating a few bucks a month. It would truly help me out and allow me some more time to put more effort into these videos and guys until next time i'll see you back here in northern valley